I'm an IT person. I really don't even claim the day. Why isn't he here, the IT guy? Oh. Uh, that's another lack of interest. That's a whole other discussion. <laughs> lack of interest. <laughs> okay, we are on. Hi, Marlon. Hey, good evening, everyone. Hello, Marlon. Come, good to see you again, Marlon. Hi, Marlon. Good to see you. Okay, call the meeting to order. Um, may we have a reading of the meeting notice, please? Yes. Notice of the special meeting has been provided to the public and the press on February 1st, 2022, and was posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building in accordance with the Open Public Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10, semicolon 4 7. Purpose of the special meeting will be to discuss repealing the purchase of real property commonly known as 8 to 20 Black Creek. Black Creek Drive and identified as Lot 12, Block 391 on the tax map of the Township of Vernon. Action may be taken. Thank you. May we have a roll call, please? Sure. Vice President Bouchieri? Here. Council Member Fury? Council Member Lynch? Here. Council Member Shortway? Council President Rizzuto? Here. Would you please join with me in a salute to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May I have a motion to have the floor open to... Motion. Comments. Motion is made by Mr. Lynch. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mrs. Bucciri. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Please understand that the this period of public comment is limited to three minutes per person and is for items on the agenda only. So it will only be in reference to ordinance 22-04, which is just an introductory reading for this ordinance to place it on the, uh, as, as per law and placing it on the agenda for uh, two weeks hence. I'm sorry, 10 days hence. Uh, are there any comments or questions from the audience? Are there any comments, questions from the audience? Do we have anybody online? Yes, um, I have um, Sean Mazor. Mr. Mazor, how are you? Your comments, please. Good, can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay, a couple of things about this, uh, about this evening uh, I wanna go over. Um, you know, we, the whole issue with this, this contract, we had an unqualified bidder that was awarded this contract. And that should really be uh, one of the things to cancel this, uh, this whole purchase of this Baldwin property um, as the contract to illegal. Uh, first of all, another thing too we need to talk about is the things against this, the road upgrades will be needed, uh, the economy with hyperinflation, the costs are unknown. Um, the other thing too we need to consider is if you have contamination on this site, instead of capping it, we might want to look at actually developing it and removing it. And the best way to remove soil is to build a foundation in its place. So if this contamination is there, let's let a developer handle it. Let's let, let's let the old owners of the property deal with it, not get involved with it at all. And there's been several things that have been, been really weird, zoning changes, saying it's not in the sewer service area, saying it is in the sewer service area. That, that whole thing, it just seems so fraudulent. You know, and, and in the end, uh, this thing needs to be squashed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Major. Is there anyone else? Yes, I have um, Jessica Palladini. Mrs. Palladini. Good evening. Um, you hear me, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm speaking in support of this ordinance tonight, and I'm asking the council to repeal ordinance 21-06 authorizing purchase of the Baldwin property 820 Black Creek Drive for several reasons. First and foremost, Mayor Howard Burrell did not have legal authorization to proceed 
with the purchase of this property. Ordinance 2106 stated, the township is authorized to acquire lot 12, block 391, also known as 8-20 Black Creek Drive from its owners for the sum of $289,000 only after obtaining a clear phase one environmental assessment. Phase one was not clear. It should have been dead in the water right there. Mayor Burrell has abused his power and his office in proceeding further. Thus, the contract is void, period. Number two, by law, the council is required to approve all contracts. The council never approved the contract. Thus, it is not a legal contract. Lastly, the property is contaminated. Who in their right minds would even consider buying a piece of property that has been the subject of a 20 year lawsuit initiated by the DEP against the property owner for toxic spills and contamination. As clearly specified in the DEP lawsuit against the Baldwin property, whoever owns it would be liable and responsible for cleanup costs in perpetuity. That means if further contamination is located on the property, which is very likely, Vernon taxpayers could be responsible for hundreds of thousands of dollars in cleanup costs. And I also want to say, I spoke with Allied Service Corps yesterday, and Kevin from the company was very forthcoming in telling me that there could still be contamination anywhere on the site, not just in the three test holes they dug. We would not know until we went in, he said. That's an exact quote. He said he has been working to remediate this site since the 1990s, first with another company he worked with and now with Allied Service Corps. And I quote, he said, that whole road does not seem to want to go away. I looked at this job in 1998 at a different company and now I'm still doing it 25 years later. Again, who buys such a drastically contaminated piece of property like this? Thank you. Please kill the ordinance. Thank you, Ms. Pelden. Um, I have Robert um, Nett. Sorry? Uh, Robert Nett. I'm, Nett. Sure. I'm sorry if I'm Mr. saying that wrong. Mr. Uh, Mr. Nett. Yes. Well, uh, hi. Uh, th thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Uh, I am opposed to this ordinance for the following reasons. Number one is my understanding that the previous council authorized Mayor Burrell to sign a contract and that that contract was contingent on a report satisfactory to the D DEP that the property was met, not the commercial standards, but the residential standards. And the mayor has informed me that that has been done and the report is being drawn at this time. And that report will be ready within a week. Now, if you sign a contract with somebody with a contingency and that contingency is removed, it's also my understanding that you can get sued. We get enough suits in this town. We don't need another one and we don't need a loser. The sellers of the property have spent funds on doing this. The funds are considerable because I got news for you, environmental stuff ain't cheap. They're going to come after you. And they're going to either come after you for you to pay them their funds. And plus, you got to pay the lawyers. Lawyers don't get <clears throat> Now, after you pay the lawyers and you lose, you're going to have to pay for those cleanup costs because they can't, they couldn't sell the property and they thought they had a deal. Or 
Maybe they can say, we don't want the money for the cleanup costs. We want specific performance. In other words, they're going to go into the court and say, hey, court, direct these people to live up to the bargain. So you're going to, you're going to pay. You got to pay big bananas. And I, I just think that if, if the council feels that strongly about it, they really ought to have the decency to sign a, a, a document that says, we will make the township whole out of our own pockets for any damages. And if you're so sure you're right, it's not gonna cost you anything. But then again, if you're wrong, you may be living in the park. So I, I just, I'm sorry, but you make a deal, you make a deal. The previous council approved this according to, uh, it's my understanding. Now you're not going to do it. What about the next uh, person that wants to do business with this township? What are they going to say? Thank you very much, Mr. Neck. Your time you're, welcome. you're welcome. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Um, I have Peg DeStassi. Ms. DeStassi, your comments, please. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Very well. Okay, very good. I've lived in Glenwood for 35 years. I've done a thorough review of the Baldwin contract, town council meeting minutes, resolutions and ordinances, and have revealed these discrepancies in the Baldwin contract to purchase 8-20 Black Creek Drive. On 2-8-21, Resolution 2106 was introduced stating clear phase one environmental set assessment as a requirement to purchase the property. On 2-22-21, Resolution 2106 was approved by the council. On May 17th, ADR environmental was paid $2,500 for their phase one test on Baldwin property. At that time, because it came back with problems, Mayor Burrell authorized without council approval to continue on to phase two. And on 616, ADR was paid $9,760 for phase two testing on the Baldwin property. This testing showed lead and other contamination. Further on August 31st, an agreement was drafted between A-20 Black Creek Drive LLC and Vernon Township for the lot. On November 4th, the contract was signed by Howard Burrell. In this contract was added a clause that was not approved by the Township Council. And that clause said, environmental report shall mean phase two environmental investigative report by ADR dated May 21st, 2021 obtained by purchaser prior to entry into this contract. There is no resolution or ordinance, and believe me, I've read every one by the town council. First of all, <clears throat> authorizing phase two testing. Second, to pay for the phase two testing. There was also no authorization for this clause to be added to the contract beyond a clear phase one. Based on these discrepancies, there's enough information to challenge the validity of the Please contract. Please wrap it up, Mrs. DeStassi. Okay, I'll make it quick. Further investigation has revealed that testing company has worked on this site since 1998. And he states, the employee states, there, there has been a problem clearing the water from drainage from the lots 
being tested positive. They've been doing this for years. Further, the state Green Acres states that a local government can purchase property, but it must be cleared of any contamination by the DEP. There's a standing lawsuit against Baldwin for this property by the DEP. And Thank as, you very much. As, as of today's date, it is still listed as an active toxic site. Thank you. Can Vernon afford to pay for yes. the open space funding if it's not obtained? Mrs. Mrs. DeStassi, uh, I, thank you very much I for your comments. I appreciate con I'll continue later if I'm allowed. Thank, thank you. you. Um, I have Ivy Mechton. Ms. Mechton? Oh. Can you hear me now? I can hear you fine. Okay. Um, I, I adamantly oppose. Um, oh, excuse me. My, my apologies. Can you please give me your address uh, and where you live, please, before, well, for the record? Uh, okay. I'm in Vernon, New Jersey, but I, I'm not going to put my address on because this sometimes goes um, public and I, I just don't want that, but I'd be happy to come down and give you my address. Is that okay? Well, you're from Vernon, that's fine. <laughs> you're from Vernon, that's yes. okay. That's yes. what we okay. need to know. Yes, of course. Um, okay, I oppose the, the, this and everything the previous people said. Um, I can't imagine Mayor Burrell would even consider this um, knowing that the contamination, um, I mean, how would that look years down the road if people got sick from this and this would be his legacy? I don't think that's so heroic. Mayor Burrell has touted how well the real estate's done in the last two years, but the reasons for that are, are dreadful because of a pandemic, people fleeing here, being, fleeing the city. And um, yeah, sure, property values went up real fast. And then the tax assessor went around and used our homes like an ATM. So we really need, now we're on the inflation side and the interest rates are going up and we're going to get smacked every which way so we really need our money okay i really oppose this thank you so much and mayor burrell i think you'll understand that this is not a good thing this this you know if there was um cancers and such down the road this would be your legacy so you oppose the purchase i am opposed opposed to purchase thank you thank you um, I have Frank Petrowski. Mr. Petrowski. Muted. Can you hear me? Now we can hear you. Yes. How you doing? Hey, well, too, uh, I want to start out. I want to plug the council. Excuse me. Um, can you from... give me your address, please? And where you yeah, live? Seven, seven Woodland Trail, Vernon, New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, I want to applaud the council for considering this tonight. Uh, we should not purchase this property for several reasons, as other residents of Vernon have mentioned earlier tonight, so I won't go into it. I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, it's clear from the last council meeting, the mayor had zero answers for your questions that you posed for him, and you gave these questions to him in advance. That just shows the ineptness of the planning for this property and, and the, the purchase of this property. I'm also amazed whoever approved to do site work on this property uh, that the township doesn't even own. That just baffles my mind, um, especially with taxpayer funds. And lastly, I just want to say, you know, as a taxpayer whose taxes have gone up in the last two years in excess of 20 percent, you know, I'm concerned, utterly concerned about the purchase of this property. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I have Ann Larson. Ms. Larson, may I have your address, please? Hi, I'm at Westgate 22 Westgate in Glenwood. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you hear me okay? Fine. Good. All right. So I am also opposed to the purchase. Thank you for hearing me out. I'll just be a moment. I'd ask you to please repeal the purchase of this property. I believe the trust of the Vernon taxpayers has been breached by the by the mayor's actions when he moved forward uh you know making the, the 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 changes that he made to the contract he knew where things stood he knew he didn't have approval 
Um, he, he breached his fiduciary responsibilities to the, to the people of Vernon Township. So I, I feel the best thing for everyone would be to cancel it. We don't need a $1.2 million uh, price tag for something like this. It's a frivolous purchase. When you weigh wants versus needs, this is not a need. You bond for needs, not wants. So it, the gentleman ahead of me, a couple couple speakers back mentioned uh, that he thought that there would be repercussions from canceling the contract. If the uh, if you recall, the mayor spouted off several very inflated estimates on the appraisal value of that property. So therefore, under the circumstances, I think the seller would be very happy to take one of those numbers and put the property back on the market. Once it's cleaned up, it will be worth more. And perhaps it would even be to his benefit to move forward with a different purchaser and free Vernon from the, the, the weight of this albatross around our necks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have James Inks. Mr. Inks, your address, please. Mr. Inks. Please, are you muted, Mr. Inks? He's trying. Yeah. Can you tell? Mr. Inks. Right in the corner. Oh, I see. He, does, he turned it off and on. Mr. Inks. No, he's not muted. Okay. Okay. Maybe log off and log on. Yeah. We can't hear you. Maybe we can move on and he comes and wants to come in. back. Um, I don't have any other hands up right now. Okay. Um, one more time. Can Mr. Inks. Mr. Inks. Okay, apparently he can't hear us. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, may I? Uh, yes. Steve Dunlop, Williamsville Estates. Lived here since 1995. My music teacher always told me either go first or go last. Nobody remembers what happens in the middle. <laughs> Prior counsel did everything they could to rush this thing through before the new council was seated. We have two council members that don't even have the decency to show up to this meeting. We have a mayor that doesn't have the decency to show up to this meeting. We know that they were supposed to have approval for the phase one before moving ahead. Didn't, that didn't happen, it didn't pass. So they went for a phase two without approval of the council. We know that the mayor solicited bids and then awarded a contract on property we don't even own. I would think that would be enough right there to shut the whole thing down. Unfortunately, you have a mayor that is well aware of the fact that he has veto power and he can stop all this. I think that the two council members that aren't present and the mayor not being present had made it clear, has made it clear that it's adversarial they're not going to cooperate. They're going to do everything they can to thwart your efforts. And I think they put you in a position where you have no choice but to seek counsel and try to get a stop order through a court until this can be reviewed. I don't think they've left you any other choice. Our mayor didn't even use the township attorney for the review of this. He went to outside counsel. I don't know when else he's done that. But I know in this instance, I spoke with the township attorney and he was not consulted. I really think that the, that the council members that are here need to think long and hard about obtaining counsel and go to court and try to stop this because they are going to try to push this through before you get to your second reading or your approval and this is all going to be for naught. And I really hope that you'll listen to my comments and really take it to heart. Nobody wants to sue anybody. I'm not suggesting a lawsuit. I'm suggesting go to court to get a stay until this can be done properly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the floor? I'd like to say a couple of things. Certainly. Please step up to the microphone. My name is uh, Bill Durest. I live in Vernon, uh, Valley Lake. I'm sorry? 
Vernon Valley Lakes. And your name is Bill? Daresta. Bill, okay. So um, just a couple of things. Um, with the uh, this uh, rushed meeting, uh, have you thought about the ramifications of uh, us being sued? Yes. Okay. And if we lose the suit, are you willing to pay for it? Mr. This is for your comments, not to question us. We've made that we've we've based our decisions. That's my comment. Okay. There's other things that we could do together. I would uh, ask you to look into uh, doing a municipal broadband, and I would ask you to look into a light rail system. And that would increase our. This has got nothing to do with the ordinance. Thank you. Excuse me. You can only speak about the ordinance tonight. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's no problem. It's just that this is a special meeting for this ordinance. Well, this ordinance. Well, the, the thing about the ordinance is I think you're rushing to it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's, it's not funny. No, no, absolutely. Well, it's ironic. It's ironic. Yeah. You know, I, I, I agree with you. It's not fun. Yeah. The fact that this whole situation has been moved so quickly from the time we were elected until now is just simply amazing. So I, I appreciate your, your irony in this regard. The irony is, is that the town will be faced by a lawsuit. I'm certain that's going to happen. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. The and this is my this is my comments on it and perhaps the end of it. The amount of work that will need to be done if additional borings are done on this particular piece of property will probably exceed the cost of the property itself. Because and and for us so the, was so excuse me. Okay. For us to assume yeah. ownership of this property with only a very small area being remediated leaves to question the balance of the seven acres. Because that particular piece of property has been under remediation for quite a long time for other, uh, in terms of uh, other materials, mm -hmm. primarily petrochemicals. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, I don't know why you would want to buy a piece of property that has failed previously and then hope that your second remediation is going to be your last remediation. So the DEP uh, uh, approval is, you're saying, is, is, not, uh, is not valid? Oh, no, it's valid. Okay. But it's only valid for the point where they remediate. So, and, and there's question about the rest of the seven acres? You've had two remediations out of the same piece of property. What's the likelihood of a third? I don't know. Well, there you go. If you were a homeowner looking to buy a piece of property and you were buying a piece of property that had failed and needed to be remediated twice, would you want to go back and put your money down and say, well, I don't know, but could be. So what you're saying is the state DEP um, is incorrect. No, I didn't say that. Well, that's what you're assuming. No, I'm, ass I'm tell assuming that the, I am the telling you acres is no good. Um, no, and I'm telling you that the only area of remediation on the property yeah, that I understood what you said were two points. Yeah, okay, but I understood what you said. But if it, it, it was the whole thing in question, or was it just the, those? Points? You don't know. We, uh, we, excuse me, Mr. Council President. I don't think it's our place right now to talk about an ordinance that that hasn't been introduced yet. I'm answering the question, sir. Thank you. Okay, so we'll we'll just you know leave it as it is. We, we thank you. Very honest. Thank you. All right, but the other points I brought up about the board, thank, thank you, you very much. Are there any other questions? I keep forgetting. I do have. I do have. Um, can I try James Inks again? Time again. Well, Third time's a charm. Mr. Inks. 
Mr. Inks? Guess not. May I have a motion from the floor to close the meeting? I do have another oh, I'm sorry. hand up. I'm sorry. Um, Walter Marcico. Mr. Marcico. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, Walter Marsico from uh, Settlers Notch section of uh, Vernon. Uh, I just wanted to ask the council tonight to repeal ordinance 21-06, uh, authorizing the purchase of the Baldwin property on Black Creek Drive. I'm not gonna get into everything because uh, numerous people have already stated all the reasons and um, I'm pretty much along the same lines as what everyone has said. Uh, it's also fitting that um, Harry Shortway and Mayor Burrell, who have been pushing this this ordinance along, are not here tonight. Um, I just find that ironic. But that's all I really wanted to say that I, I'm against it, and I appreciate that the new council is actually interacting with uh, residents and people that are there. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rinks. One more time. Four shots at it. <laughs> <laughs> Given them, I I'm working on it. Mr. Inks? No. No. Is there anyone else? No. Okay. May I have a motion from the floor? I'll make that motion. Motion that made by Mr. Comment. Lynch. I'll second it. Seconded by Mrs. Bucciri. Close the floor. Public comment. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Purpose of this meeting is for the introduction of the uh, proposed ordinance. The ordinance is 22-04, an ordinance of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, repealing ordinance 2106, authorizing purchase of real property commonly known as 8-12, uh, I'm sorry, 8-20 Black Creek Drive, and identified as lot 12, block 391 on the tax map of Vernon Township. And uh, where at, do, uh, is it necessary for me to read this whole thing? Yeah, no problem, I can do it. No, if you read the title, that's all. Okay, fine. Um, you know, it is short. I'm gonna read it into the record just for, for uh, consistency. Whereas a number of inconsistencies between ordinance 2106 and the sales contract have been clearly demonstrated. And whereas construction costs for bike path, walking path and access roads have not been accurately presented. And whereas the required authorization for completion of this project was not sought or received by this administration from the council. And whereas ordinance 2106 authorize the purchase of real property located within Township of Vernon, specifically lot 12, block 391, also known as 8-20 Black Creek Drive property. Uh, whereas a majority of the Township Council is not in favor of purchasing the property. And whereas the majority of the Township Council desires to repeal 21-06, now, therefore, be it ordained by the Township Council of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, that one, the Township Council, the Township of Vernon hereby repeals Ordinance 2106. Uh, section two, each section of this ordinance is an independent section in the holding of any section or part thereof to be unconstitutional, void, or ineffective for any clause shall not be deemed to affect the validity of the constitutionality or any other sections of the parts thereof. Section three, any ordinance or part thereof in conflict with the position, provisions of this ordinance are hereby repealed as to their inconsistencies only. Section four, this ordinance shall take effect immediately as provided by law. Thank you. Okay, I have a roll call vote. Please. Are we out of comments? You need uh, to have a motion. motion. Well, I'm There's sorry, do we have a motion. a motion? I'll have a motion. Motion made by Mrs. Bacciri. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Seconded by Mr. Lynch. There are no comments on first reading. So. Oh, no, our comments. I do. Oh, no, our, okay. I, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me do a question. Okay. Vice President Bucciri. 
Yes. Council Member Lynch? Yes. Council President Rizzuto? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. That completes our agenda. May I have a motion for adjournment? Uh, may, may I make a statement? I guess. In uh, 2021, in December, myself and Council President Rizzuto and uh, Natalie Buccieri, uh, candidate uh, that just won the election, stepped into the council chambers at the meeting. Pat and I asked the council at the time if they would please uh, table 2106, uh, re re uh, ordinance 2106, which was involved in the purchase of this property. We asked that not because we needed to be part of something. We'd seen some glaring inconsistencies in the whole project. And the, the, the glaring inconsistencies are the bid specs that the town had put out said that the company that we get to put this park together was supposedly supposed to build three parks. It comes out that we asked that, Pat asked the question of Mr. Fury and Mr. Fury had said that they built hundreds of parks. Well, we come to find out that this company didn't build one pump track. They did build a pump track that was with the skate park, which is nothing to do. And they built it in San Diego, okay? I don't know about you, but if I have a house and I'm gonna put a roof on it and I'm gonna call somebody in to put a roof on, I'm not gonna call a guy who's only did it one time. And I don't think anybody here would either. So that's number one. Number two, we have an issue with contaminated property. Why can't we just take a step back? I, I don't know what the rush is to get this going. I really don't know what the rush is. Council member Shortway was so proud, uh, at the time he was council president of this uh, uh, ordinance 2106 going through. And I was, I was actually pretty happy and I understand why he would be happy about it. But in, in the course of being happy about it, he didn't do his job. What we were elected to do was to go over all of this stuff and, and, and make sure that these things don't happen. Make sure that we don't hire a company that is inferior to our bid specifications. Make sure that we don't buy a piece of property that's contaminated. Who in this room would knowingly go and say, you know, I'm going to buy this piece of property. Listen, there's lead on it. That's okay. I'll take care of it. Said nobody ever. And I just don't know. I'm not against the pump track. I'm against buying property that's contaminated. And I'm against hiring companies to do work that are not up to the standards that we put out there. How long is this going to take? This is just a fight between Council and the mayor, the, and, and at the same meeting that I asked for this ordinance to be tabled, that council tabled an ordinance about a gun safety shooting range because of two errant accidents that happened here in Vernon. You're going to table an ordinance about somebody possibly getting shot, but you're not going to table an ordinance about buying a piece of contaminated property. I don't understand where the thinking is. I don't understand why they're in such a rush to get this pushed through. What is going on that we don't know about? And 
And the, and the ending of, of what I got to say is, we, this country, this state and this town was all built on compromise. Let's compromise with this. Let's get this stopped before we get ourselves in over our heads. We got a $30 million albatross in the center of town right now called the town center, Main Street. Main Street's done nothing. We have to be able to stop this so we can get it right, not so people can't ride on a pump track. Thank you. Um, yeah, I do have I do have a couple comments, um, specifically just about the, the purchase of this property. And the purchase of this property is for walking trails. Um, when Mayor Burrell was running for office, I asked a question at a public forum asking him if he supported the expansion of trails in Vernon at taxpayer expense. I wanted to know his views as I was strongly against it, against using Vernon tax dollars to pay for additional trails in our town. Before I decided to run for council, I spoke during public comments and expressed my views regarding adding taxpayer funded trails to our town, that I was against taxpayer funded trails. During my campaign, I was approached by many Vernon residents and asked my position on the issue. And my answer was always the same. I do not support the addition of trails in our town on the taxpayer's dime. We have the Appalachian Trail, the most famous trail on the East Coast. We have Way Way Onda State Park. We have the Dagmar Dale Trail. We have the Wood Duck Trail. We have numerous trails within the woods up over the ridge behind the schools. My family has, has gone to all of these. We've hiked, we've snowshoed, we've bicycled, we've cross country skied. We have numerous opportunities for recreation in our town. And that's part of what makes Vernon really beautiful and a great place to live. In fact, I didn't support the continuation of the Greenway Action Committee, not because I didn't value volunteers, not because I don't value trails or, or um, green properties or outdoor recreation. I felt it would be hypocritical of me to support a committee whose express purpose is to increase trails in our town when I would not support financing their effort. And now, all of the information that has come to light with the Baldwin property, a property that is specifically being purchased to increase trails in our town, which I have not supported. That project has significant environmental issues. It's been involved with the DEP and has had some type of remediation at least twice to our current knowledge. I can't in good conscience support using tax dollars to buy a piece of property that could potentially saddle the taxpayers of Vernon to future environmental issues. Mr. Lynch made a point. Would you do that with your own money? I wouldn't. I wouldn't purchase a piece of property with my money to do that. And I wouldn't agree to do that with taxpayer funds. From what I understand, the owner of the property is responsible for any toxic cleanup, even if we were not the ones who put or dumped that, that material there or added that material there. The owner of the property inherits any problems from the property. And that would be on the back of our taxpayers. And I can't support that. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Butcher. I hadn't planned on making any comments, but you know, I'm never to be outdone. Uh, <laughs> however- I should have gone last. There you go. Uh, <laughs> The, Mr. Lynch brought up the issue of compromise. And I think I wanted to place on the record the fact that on two occasions, I met with the mayor following being seated on the council and we discussed a number of items, including this. And I offered to find, you know, we asked for a, a way that we could compromise in this. And there was no, no movement. Prior to being seated, I went to meetings and I asked them to table awarding the <laughs> issuing the, the, the bids, awarding the bids. And that was refused by the mayor. When the bids were scheduled to be open, I also 
asked at that time that the bid opening be delayed because we hadn't taken title to the property. That was refused. Right now we're sitting with a piece of property that has undergone remediation for a second time. And we are awaiting the report so that that property can be closed on. And yet when we look at the contract, the ordinance, which becomes the parameter for the contract, indeed there is differences between what the ordinance says and what the contract permitted. The contract was very, very clear. I'm sorry, the ordinance was very, very clear. The township authorized the purchase of this property for $289,000 only after one, obtaining a clear phase one environmental assessment. That occurring, a reasonable person would expect that the mayor would go back to the council and say, we don't have a clear phase one do we still want to proceed? And if so, how much are we willing to expend to clear the property and move to a phase two? That wasn't done. Phase two remediation or a report was generated and the amount of $9,760, I believe was the amount, was paid to the remediator without any approval from the council. So in my mind, there are two areas of major concern that the sales contract does not mirror what was permitted in the ordinance. Third, I believe what one of the callers mentioned was that the uh, term uh, it was changed from a phase to, to a environmental report. And there is indeed a big difference between a phase two and an environmental report. The fact that access to this facility is going to require substantial road work on Black Creek Drive so that in order for a person to ingress and egress the property from Route 94, which is a state highway, you'd have to go down this particular road and it simply couldn't handle it. So it's going to be, uh, have, it's going to have to be, uh, you know, uh, improved, thank you. And that improvement, uh, I believe requires a, uh, a rate of um, a rate of decline about ten, no more than ten percent, and right now it's substantially more than that. So, based upon any number of these and any number of other considerations, uh, it became the council's position that at this point we wanted to place this on the record as being opposed to the purchase of this particular contract uh, property. And uh, hopefully we can move on from here. So uh, with that, uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion that we adjourn. Motion made by Mr. Lynch. Is I'll, there a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mrs. Bucciri. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Uh, be careful everybody driving home just to let you know Route 515 is closed at 638. Oh, really? Uh, going out, there was an accident earlier, and uh, they have to uh, uh, put new poles in. And school's already closed tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they I got an email. My phone was blowing up. <laughs>